right, guys. Uh, it's Saturday, May 6th. We're back in the hay field. We're getting everything fueled up, greased up. Uh, it's been wetter than we thought it would, but we're going to see if we can make some hay today. Maybe do a little baleage. I believe, I think, we have an 18-wheeler coming out today to get loaded out. Just going to depend on how the day goes, see what we can get done. It's about 10 18. I don't know if y'all can see or not in the video. That, well, the sun's just now starting to break out, and we really need this grass to sit out here for a couple hours in the sun. And then Witt's actually going to take the tether or the fluffer, whatever you want to call it. He's going to go fluff some hay at another field that's cured a little bit better. And we're kind of just going to play it by ear and see what we can do. So we're going to sit around, and get a game plan going, and uh, go from with one over. You want to tell everybody what the game plan is for today as far as plans go? Well, we got a little misty rain yesterday, so we're pretty much having to go back and fluff the hay up. So I want to get a couple of hours ahead of Grant Taylor. Basically, this fluffer here turns the hay upside down, lets it drive underneath. Well, on the ground, turn it up to where it's dry, but for the day we got good wind, good sunshine. I think as long as I get a few hours of hit the ground, we'll dry on that, we'll be able to uh, start bailing. We'll probably do some bailing, uh, bail silage today. We'll try to get some dry hay out because we got to send some loads, uh, 18 weather weight on Get enough hay to start loading them out. Send out with. That's the plan, anyway. We'll see how that goes. Assuming nothing tears up. I think Grant's gonna tear anything up today. Yeah, probably so. It's, uh, it's Saturday, and all parts of it. nothing tears up till the park starts to close, and uh, it'll be broke down to the Now, Grant. I got all the faith in the world in you. But Witt says you're going to tear something up today. Is that what he said? He says it's a high possibility. Challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> Alright Grant, million dollar question. Why are you leaf blowing your hay baler? Well, I leaf blow my hay baler to uh, get all the uh, dust out of the barns and around anything it turns and uh, can get hot. Uh, just helps keep things, you know, cool and catching on fire. Prevent fire. It's key. That's all it is. All right. Just uh, keeps things from burning up. Well, we about ready to go to the field, I think. I wanted to take a second to show y'all probably the most useful thing we have on the farm. And that's the flex rate. So, traditional hay operations, you'll have a guy cutting, and then later on you'll have a guy come back and rake, and then you'll have your baler. Well, flex rate eliminates that. So, it hooks to the baler, to the tractor, and there's all kinds of It's got a three-way splitter in there, and this thing can open up, go up and down, and what this does is it allows Grant to rake and bale on his own. Any of you who aren't familiar, some people call it a fluffer, some people call it a tether, we call it a fluffer. All that's doing is throwing this hay and scattering it and flipping it because the sun is sitting here beating down on the top of it. And I don't know if you can see this on camera or not, there's moisture, I don't know if you can see how much greener that is on the top. There's moisture on the bottom side of this hay, so we take that tether to flip it over, that way it dries evenly and it goes from looking like that to looking like that. But he's going to fluff this field, we're going to come back in about an hour or two, let it get good and dried out, and we're going to bail all this up for dry hay. So, stay tuned.
I've got 14 rolls loaded out. Normally on this trailer we haul 17, but I've actually got somewhere I've got to be. So I'm going to take these 14 back to the yard and then Bob's going to unload us. And then uh, they're going to rock on until I get back from what I've got to do. And we'll catch up with y'all guys then. What's funny, Bob? You know, the guy that was loading that, he must have stuck it on and pulled a wrap. I don't know. Yeah, I believe I don't know who, uh, I don't know who would have yeah, done that. Hey, let's just blame Witt since he's not here to defend himself. How about that? All right, guys. Uh, we're getting ready to call it quits tonight. Grant's about done bailing. We got Witt. He's got a load going to the barn. We're going to load this trailer up. Call it a night. Uh, been a good day. Been a pretty day. We got more coming tomorrow, so y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, it's the next morning. Last night we got all the hay staged out, ready to be loaded this morning for the 18 wheeler. We've got 17 rolls and then 23 rolls for a total of 40. The trailer can only hold 38, but I don't know if you can see that top one, not quite at the back. And the back one on this roll need to come off anyway because they got busted. So, pretty much all these boat, all these rolls will be loaded up and hauled out here. Probably within the hour, so I'm trying to do a little time lapse for you guys to see.
bad guys, Mr. Charles, he's all loaded up. How many did it be in 38? Uh, yeah. 38 rolls. He's ready to go to Texas. And real quick, this is his 1987 Peterbilt 359 Classic. Yeah, he wanted me to show this thing. Yeah. He'll finish getting the strap down. He'll be on his way. All right, guys, that's a wrap on first dry hay for the year. We've got a few implements and tractors we gotta go get from the field, but other than that, we're pretty much done for today. We got some rain coming, so we're gonna get everything back here and wait for the next break in the weather. Uh, real quick, thank you to everybody who's liked and watched the other video, shared it, commented, checked out the YouTube. We really do appreciate it. So, like I said, we'll see y'all in the next one.